First, let's quickly define what each platform is. WooCommerce is a free plugin that can convert a basic WordPress site into a fully customizable e-commerce store. Shopify is an e-commerce platform whose USP is that it requires no technical knowledge to set up. It works right out of the box, but with very limited scope for customization. The first thing to look at is how easy it is to set up a store on each platform. WooCommerce can take about an hour or more because there's a couple of extra steps here. But after that, the customization potential is limitless. You can literally create any type of store and functionality that you want. Shopify is the easiest to set up. It takes about 10 minutes for a basic site, but there's minimal scope for customization. I'll add links for detailed walkthroughs for each setup in the description. In terms of creating the design of your store, WooCommerce has a lot of design and customization opportunity. For example, if you wanted to add a music player, you can go to any one of these free sites and find the code snippet, which is lines of code, and then just copy paste it to your site to get the design effect. I'd say Shopify may only have four themes, but they're quite beautiful and designed in a way that you can get the best bag for your buck without much effort. One big difference is that Shopify doesn't need you to perform regular updates. Updates can sometimes break sites if there's code conflicts between different plugins. So that's one less headache with Shopify. On the other hand, if the extra features and customizations of WooCommerce are important for you, you can get a good backup plugin and you won't have to worry about updates harming your site again. So to summarize this section, Shopify is the easiest to set up, but has few customization options, while WooCommerce takes some extra time to set up, but gives you a base on which you can build any kind of store you want. Let's now talk about the next big factor, which is security. There are three main things you need to worry about when it comes to online security. Number one is the SSL certificate. It comes free with Shopify. With WooCommerce, it depends on the web host that you pick. Some like Cloudways give it for free, and in others, you'll have to buy and install it yourself. Number two, malware attacks. Here's the top security plugins for Shopify. And for WooCommerce, we recommend using our plugin Malcare because its advanced firewall keeps out 99% malware. And while other plugins take hours to remove malware, you can remove it instantly with a click in Malcare. Number three is customer support. I'll throw up some common reviews and ratings on the screen so you can decide for yourself. The features and functionalities of each platform. WooCommerce has a big lead here because it has 75,000 plugins and extensions because it's an open source platform. Everything is much more customizable than any other platform. Shopify is at the end of the pack with only about 3,200 apps to choose from. I'd say Shopify is more convenient because everything happens within the dashboard. But WooCommerce has some very fascinating plugins coming out regularly like Subscription Force, which can definitely help conversions. Factor number four is customer experience. Shopify can be much faster than WooCommerce because WooCommerce sites can become really heavy if you add a lot of themes and plugins to it. However, this can be easily fixed if you use a free split plugin such as Airlift, which can make your site three times faster. I leave links for all the plugins I'm mentioning in the description below. Let's discuss which platform helps in converting more customers. WooCommerce would come out on top because it has the most flexibility in creating custom designs and user experiences. For instance, if your customers respond well to a particular style of checkout page, you can get that done on WooCommerce, while Shopify may not have that plugin. So if you are even a little bit tech savvy, the sky's the limit to what you can achieve with WooCommerce. Shopify, on the other hand, can make for good e-commerce sites right out of the box. You may not be able to do everything that you want to do, but whatever options it does have, it executes them very well on the site and you can use it with these. This brings us to our last factor, which is comparing the prices of each platform. The most basic Shopify plan is $168 a year or $14 a month. Lastly, WooCommerce is half the cost of Shopify to set up. A basic hosting from GoDaddy can cost as little as $60 a year and a simple .com domain can cost around $10 a year, which brings our total to $70. Now, if you want better quality hosting such as from Cloudways or your domain is in high demand, the price can go up. So it's a bit subjective. But the deeper question to ask is which platform's pricing is the best for a growing business. As we discussed earlier, WooCommerce is a free open source software, which means that you can easily scale your business on this platform no matter how large your business gets. Scaling with Shopify is also easy because you'll just have to switch plans. But overall, the platform is much less flexible and customizable than WooCommerce, which will start bothering you as your customer base grows and you want more control over the user experience. Overall, I think the main pros of WooCommerce is that it's very cheap to set up, the customization potential is endless, and the plugin ecosystem is high in quality and quantity. The main con is that it requires effort. So this is best for a business that can spare the hours needed to actually get 
appreciate the most from the platform or a business that's going to grow very fast and will need extra functionality. The main pros of Shopify are that it's a great option for anyone who wants to hit the ground running. The subscription cost is quite justified for what they offer and the platform is very templatized, which makes it easy to get a decent store up quickly. The only con is that this convenience comes at the cost of personalization and customization. The plugin library is very limited and there's quite less scope to really modify the platform according to your wishes. So I'd say Shopify is best for a one-man operation or for a fledgling business. I'll add a bunch of links in the description to help you with setting up a store for each platform, so do check that out. I'll see you next week.